probably aware I do really enjoy fishing Manor Farm Leisure. With the May Festival coming, I've been fishing a few of Gary Watts' open matches. He runs them via Facebook, so Gary runs the matches, and he does do a fantastic job. Yes, he is my mate, but he does do a good job. He does try as hard as bless him. Um, so this is peg 20 on Ash. Um, I didn't do any good on the day. Um, I've had like 40 pound. Never really felt I was really in tune with the venue, believe it or not. I don't regard myself as a venue expert, but a venue regular, definitely. And I'm lucky to have a few mates and that that obviously give me some advice and stuff. Um, but I just didn't feel I had it. Like, I've, I've fished like, festivals here before and I felt that, you know, I was more in tune and was more confident. Now, this is day two. Now, I didn't do it on purpose because I had made that way, but I didn't have time to film day one. I didn't have time to set up my tripod and stuff. It was a bit of a rush. Obviously, first day, getting drawn. I was really keen, kitted up a lot of kit. Um, so I did not film it at all. I had a disastrous day. I come second to last. 11 points, awful start. On peg 16 on windmill. Which, to be fair, I would fancy. I'd sooner have been on 15, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't know why I say it, if I'm honest. But peg 16 was pegged not 15 it just would have been easier to get to the island i can understand why 16 was in to try and use and utilize the whole of the lake to spread us all out so not a criticism at all and i just did not anticipate it to be as windy as what it was so for day one for those who fished all know monday morning was absolutely beautiful and then for some reason, it just become overcast and just started to be really windy. Now, I was told it'd be like maybe 10 miles an hour wind looking at the weather report Met office, but I couldn't hold that pole. Um, and I've just come really unstuck. I just, just couldn't catch. I fished a method and it's just been an absolute nightmare. So I've had a few fish on it, but... I've lost a few as well. They're just little carp just taking you into the island, taking you into snags. And the guy on 13 has suffered from the same. Anyway, going on to this match, I've drawn peg 29 on middle. Now, on its day, this is an absolute screamer of a peg. But with the festival, um, it's been awful. Um, basically, because the wind has blown all week, and I do mean all week, down into like sort of pegs like 12 you've just got no chance really um you know take the rough with a smooth um i wish i'd just fish ground bait and maggots all day to be honest bad mistake um i could have had 90 pound i reckon but then you're only good because phil's destroyed the lake off peg 25 and i'm only fishing for like a six peg section trying to win 50 quid even try paste um, and that was just a bad mistake, but I don't regret doing it because obviously I had to push it. Anyway, day three, complete change of weather, wind still blowing the same direction, a bit too strong, and I've drawn peg 13 on windmill. Um, the, the wind did get up a bit too much, even had a can of monster, um, trying to hold a dirty great big long pole. Uh, yes, Nathan wants so I am a little bit slow doing it, but you try and ship out a true 20 meter pole in the wind, uh, it is quite heavy. Um, it was quite good, but again, the wind got up too much, and it's just not worth risking breaking your pole trying to win 50 quid. So I decided to come off it, and I'm, I'm getting fat and old, so I just couldn't hold it. Even if you were really, really strong, I think you'd struggle, you'd end up snapping the pole because it just wind got too much um again just a little bit unlucky on on the same as monday i've lost a great big and on pay short um it's actually broke me i can't believe it. it's broke me about 18 inches above the hook length now bear in mind i fished 0188 spider straight through so i can't believe it's broke me it broke me in a snag it's just kited off to the left in open water and just kept on going um didn't stop I don't believe it was foul looked at all. I mean, obviously, I'll never know, but because the bite was pretty clean and the fish paced only in like what four foot of water, so I, I feel like I could have had a weight if I could have done this all day. 
Um, it was quite hard work. Some of them were stockers, just fished a six mil hard pellet and just hindered in like four mils and a couple of micras. They just stockers seem to love micras, but because it's so deep, so I can't get in the shallow water. You want 22 meters, really. I'm not doing that with Paul. Um, you know, then you'd probably get up in the shallow water and that would have been better. But it is very, very snaggy on that far bank. There is like a ladder, there's like a post in the water. And unfortunately, someone's like lost a waggler. If you look really carefully, you can see there's like a red dot. It's a waggler on the far bank. And then the lad who was on it on the Mondays had a bit of a mare with a method same as me, just losing fish against the island and just ragging you straight in it. Um, ground bait and maggot short was pretty good for skimmers and a few stocky F1s. Um, it's definitely something worth putting in your armory, especially if you're in contention of doing well in the festival. It's definitely worth some bites because obviously this has fished very hard. Um, just the time of year, fish are thinking about other things. Um, you know, it has been quite a tough tough week for some people some people have been so unlucky you don't mean to name drop but like craig kent bless him he's drawn boundary four times and not the favorable areas neither so you know again i might be moaning that i've had a bit of a rough week but when i compare it to um this week i've had a i've had a, some screamers screaming draws so going back to this um this was quite good um, enjoyed it. Nicky Dean, fair play, won the lake off pick 24, and I come second on the lake, so not too bad. Um, try to sort of ping bait across, try to make it happen. Just, it didn't really, to be honest. Um, it just, it wasn't the right thing to do. I couldn't keep my group in a bait very tight. Loose feed in six mils. Um, I just wish I'd done this. Yeah, um, Monday is just fish ground bait and maggot short. And obviously didn't lose my big unit neither. It's just pulled out, which is a bit of a nightmare. Story of my, well, story of my life, actually. Oh, because there's a lot of big fish. If you notice, I've got two landing nets kitted up. Got one with a proper big net, and then one with a small net. The last thing you do is look at a 20 pounder, and you can't can't fit it in your net because there is still quite a lot of them in here. Well, there's loads, I reckon. The one fish in a Dirty great big long pole if you choose to do it. You need to fish obviously quite a long lash to make life easy. And obviously quite light elastic as well, otherwise you just end up bumping them. I only lost one fish on the snag. Um fishing the long pole to be fair. Because you just like lean into and just keep keep pulling to the left. You definitely got a little bit more control with a pole than what you have uh, with a method, because if they swim towards you, you no matter how much you pull, to be honest, to try and stop them getting into the snags. I'm chatting to Tim Russ next to me. He's caught quite a few fish himself as well. He's had quite a few stockers, a few on the pole, and he's just caught on like a method feeder, maybe like 10 meters to his left. Not down the edge as such, and then he's chucked at the same rod, um, what do we call it, just a bit further out in open water, probably about 15, 16 metres. That's caught a few fish as well, just like a little method. Because obviously it's just been so windy, so fishing a method on the pole line. Day four, I can't believe it, I've gone and drawn peg 24 on windmill. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Every festival seemed to draw this peg um, and not been arrogant. Normally I win the match off it. If you look on past results uh, today, uh, I definitely did not do that. 
Um, I've had an absolute nightmare. Um, this part of the video will show me that I'm actually quite good, but uh, the bit that didn't get filmed wasn't so good. So basically, caught stock is really well to begin with, and then just started having issues. Now, what I should have done is not try to force it, as in try to ping pellets and fish shallow and stuff. I think that was a terrible mistake. Um, just so I should have just fished a toss pot all day and just basically had two lines and just fished over maggots, bits of worm, and just fed micras, and then that's it. Then them stockies just love micro pellets. Maybe a little bit of worm mix, maybe, especially if it's a bit warmer. I think that would have worked because I've done it on here before. But I just didn't. I don't know, I just, just didn't do the worm mix for some reason. Maybe just because it's a bit tight, really. Didn't really want to use 30 quid's worth of bait. So I just thought I'd just use pallets. Um, had a nice day, £42 come second on the lake. Um, got beat, guy next to me is at £48. Yeah, not quite a rubber of the green. I've uh, hooked a carp down the edge, five minutes to go. Got it back to a top kit, wallowing around. Wasn't like enormous, but probably a good 10 pounder. And it's just poured out. Couldn't believe it. Thought it was the story of my life, really. Um, so, yeah, that's obviously cost me winning the uh, section. Not that it was the end of the world, because obviously my festival's over. But this peg definitely done really well. Um, Steve Ford come second off it. Nicky Dean won off it. Mick Lane won off it. So I come second off it. So definitely a peg worth a few bites. The first day, I think it was just too windy. And um, the guy that drew it the first day sort of had the fishing method, which definitely is nowhere near as good as fishing the pole. Especially when it's been fished quite a lot. Obviously, it's took a tiny bit of a battering this week, so the fish just wise up, get harder to catch. If it was ravenous, you know, fish were feeding well, then undoubtedly a method would be fine, but not, not this week. You can see there's a lot of fish there. I imagine they just died underneath it. I imagine the island's really undercut. So day five, um, drew peg six on boundary. Um, what can I say? It's had a last two seconds to last, seven points. And then me, last day. So I've, I've, what do you call it? I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna fish ground bait and maggots potentially. Wasn't a hundred percent sure how I was gonna fish. Just started on micros and pellet short, which might seem a bit negative, but I thought it was undoubtedly the right thing to do. So that's what I've done. And also, I didn't feed anything anywhere else to see how the lake was potentially gonna fish. So I didn't want to ruin anything. I didn't want to start pinging pellets or try to do this, that, and the other. Sort of wanted to weigh it up, really. Um, and I, I feel I've fished quite a good match. It's probably I've fished a tidy match. I thought I caught 41 pound of basically mainly skimmers, uh, a few little stockers in there, so it wasn't solely skimmers, but predominantly pretty much like 90% were skimmers, and then I've had uh, 13 pound of um, F1s just all on the pole, nice and simple. Normally there is a rope here, but a duck broke the rope the rope just basically rotted away a little bit and that got on the aerator and it did actually snap. So just, just to, if you have a fish here, there will be a, normally always a rope across it. So my only feature got taken away because the fish do seem to like the ropes. They seem to rub themselves against it or I don't know if there's like insects or lava or something on it, but ropes seem to hold some fish for some reason. Um, so just 
fishing real negative, fishing a two minute spander, fishing micros over the top, real softened up micros, a light rig, only a, a 0.2 gram, but a wire. I just feel like a real light rig like this, believe it or not, I didn't, didn't barely move. I think if sometimes you fish a real heavy rig, it just seems to uh, catch the toe more. So I just fished a light rig. Don't get me wrong, that doesn't always work. But uh, it did today, so I've had a few fish doing that. And then my long line, I didn't. I had a rig that was a gram, but I only fished to 0.6, and I thought that was fine. It didn't like run through or do anything daft. So just had a beautiful day, really. Loads of bites. Uh, time went really fast. Really enjoyed it. So results wise, uh, Nick Dean won it. Uh, joint second was Glenn Picton and Tony Brooks. Fourth was Ben Suter. Fifth was Gary Watts, aka Mr. Chips. And sixth was Steve Ford. There's all the weights. Might be worth pausing and dragging it and having a look. Um, look forward to next year. Obviously, learned a few things. And sometimes you just got to take it on the chin.